Sagittarius Titan, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia and I'm here with your August 15th to 21st, 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings, email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com This week I'm going to be using the crystal, the spirit guide oracle and I'm asking for a message for you and your partner as well as messages from the butterfly oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. So, first off, you have pain to power. This is a week where you need to transform your pain to power. Lots of grounding for you. Grounding energies surround you. Remain grounded. Transform your pain to power. Take the necessary steps and actions that are right for you this week. Don't worry about anybody else. This is your week to shine to remain grounded, stay focused on your goals and make the choices and decisions that are necessary for you, okay? All that you have been through, all the lessons that you've learned, you're being asked to take it and transform it into something of lasting value. Where it comes to you and your partner, you're being asked to enjoy your life, go out, have some fun, whether it be together as a couple or separate, Go out, have some fun, enjoy your life, okay? Things are not that serious. Um, you're here to have fun. And this week, your team needs you to know that um, uh, plan a date. Um, that fancy restaurant, ask someone out. But this week, you're being asked to go out there, have some fun, transform your pain into power. Go out there, have some fun. But again, lots of grounding energies surround you this week. Are you being asked to get some rest, that much needed rest that we all evade by focusing on the hustle and bustle of the day to day? But really, it's highly important this week that you take some time out, ground yourself, remain grounded so that you could focus on your needs and your desires. And the solution to do so is getting some rest so that your team can communicate with you whether it be through your dreams because you're at the end of an era you're at the end of a cycle end of the old and a new phase is beginning for you and that phase is with regard to your spirituality your spiritual growth i'm feeling um this week you are really going to be connecting with the heart and finding out what your true needs and desires are this is the week that you are going to be doing so really remaining grounded no matter what unfolds see the energies the um the color patterns um reds lots of grounding going into the unknown knowing that you are at the end of a cycle and the new one is beginning and even though you cannot clearly see what is unfolding but being willing to step into the unknown because this is leading you to um, spirituality, understanding your spiritual self, who you really are as an individual, why you're here, and um, it's going to push you as well to be of service to others, but really connect with the heart and understand that all is one, yeah? And understand that we, we serve um, a higher power, um, we're not just here on this earth by ourselves. We're here to to serve and to really understand who we truly are as light beings and really stepping into that role and co-creating with the universe and being light-filled, you know, and really waiting for the new beginning, taking the steps that we need to take you know, to place us so that we could sit in the, the energies of the new. But it all starts with getting some rest and finding like-minded individuals that you could go 
be around and have some fun this week. But all the old, it's time to really release it from your cells and from your body. And sleep could assist you in doing that. But um, knowing that, you know, you're growing spiritually. You're truly finding yourself this week. And as this week goes by, um, you will be able to see exactly where you're heading. Okay? You will be able to see clearly where you're heading. But take some time out and connect with the heart. Find out. Ask yourself some serious questions like, what do I really want um, with this phase to move forward? Okay? Really understanding what you're trying to manifest at this phase. But take some time, slow down, get some rest so you could find your true self and your true needs. I'm feeling all in all that it's not a week that you have to push forward and try to make things happen. It is a week where you need to pause and reflect religion, spirituality, prayer, meditation. Yeah? Let me know how this message has resonated with you for the week. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Show your love. For personal reading with me, check out the links in the description box below. Also, check us out on Facebook. Like our Facebook page. Um, check out your sun, your moon, your rising for more information as to how things unfold. Have an amazing week.